For this super simple guide, I'm going to walk through the setup of Specto, one of Cody's best video add-on for movies and TV shows. There's two ways to get to Specto's settings menu. Either through the context menu on the add-on, then choose add-on settings, or through the main menu on Specto. After launching Specto, choose tools. The tools menu includes a list of all the main tabs within the settings window, general, accounts, playback, subtitles, etc. Selecting any of these options brings up the settings window. The first option under general is appearance. Specto includes five different options. Each of the five options show Cody in a little bit different way. Here's a quick overview of four orbs. Here's a quick overview of clean. An overview of embossed. Gone. And metra. Sources timeout is the time it takes to search for sources. 40 seconds is an extremely long time to cancel a search. If it's hung on a stream, I recommend reducing this to around 15 seconds. This also depends on your internet speed. If you have fast internet, you'll get a lot of sources quickly. If you have slow internet, you'll need to increase this to allow more time for searches. Main menu will display these three options, latest movies, latest episodes, or TV calendar. You can enable, disable, or change the view. These options will display on the main menu. Under playback tab, Max quality is the best quality video you want to bring back. If you have a slower machine, then you want to lower the max quality down. Host selection is a display of the stream results. You get two choices, directory or dialogue. It's only a visual display difference. Under file hosting filters, you have three different options. I recommend disabling hosting captures. This is the dreaded dialogue box. These files are generally from file lockers. A lot of times the file lockers are extremely slow. If you experience slow search results or slow downloading, then disable these. Otherwise, you can leave them enabled. Autoplay is a great option. It'll automatically start the first video it finds. If you run into a bad first video, then this option drives you crazy. I recommend trying it out, see if you like it. You can always disable this option. To ensure autoplay works most of the time, an option force SD playback lowers the quality of video, but increases the chances of the video actually starting. The next two tabs, movies and TVs, are a list of stream locations. This is a great option for disabling stream locations that stall or slow down the search results. You simply go in and uncheck the box and this location will no longer appear in your search results. HD host or high definition hosts, SD hosts or standard definition hosts is listing the priority of the search results. If you find a great stream location, recommend moving it to the top of the priority list. For me, G video is currently the best stream location. Under accounts, I highly recommend linking a tracking account. This allows you to easily add or remove TV shows, movies to your viewing habits. It also tracks your viewing habits to let you know when new movies or TV shows are available. It's also easy to maintain your favorite list of movies or TV shows. Authorization is easy. Tracked is a free account. Simply create your account, come in here, click authorization, and then you add in the address and code you'll see that your account is set up and now linked with TrackIt. The library tab shows the movies and TV folder location for when shows are updated. A little tag is added to that folder location to identify that a new show is available to watch. Under the downloads tab, set up your movies and TV download location if you want to download any of your streams. In this example, I set my desktop for both movies and TV shows. The final tab is subtitles. If you watch subtitles, this is a great location to enable that function. For a cool tip on how to display new TV shows or movies on your main Kodi page, add in a folder location for movies and TV shows. Select videos, files, add videos, navigate to the Specto movie and TV stream folders. Specific to movies, you want to make sure you match the location with the downloads folder you defined earlier in the show. Once you add in the Specto Movies stream location, update the name to say Specto Movies and click OK. In the Set Contacts window, update to display movies. This will scrape this folder location for movie information. Select Yes to refresh all the information. 
then add a second location for the Spectro streamed TV shows. After adding in the address, update the name. Update the set contacts window to TV shows. Refresh all information. Under the video files folder, you now have two folders, one called Specto Movies and another called Specto TV Shows. Now let's force Specto to update its folders and we'll see the results. Under videos, start Specto. Tools. Library. Then choose Specto Update Folders. And you'll see a progress bar scroll across the top. On the main screen, you'll notice two new options next to folders. One called Movies, displaying all the recent movies downloaded to your folder. And another called TV Shows. This includes any TV shows you've downloaded, as well as any newly identified TV shows marked in your watch list as part of Track It. If a new TV show airs this week, Track It will identify and then it will show up on your TV shows list. The great part about TV shows is you can go into Recently Added. This will display all the recently added TV shows and the dates so you know when a new TV show has been added and you can watch it based on this chronological order. Now you know how to go into and set up Specto like an expert and a cool new trick to show movies and TV shows on your main Kodi page. Check the show notes for a detailed list of every single step we walk through throughout this video.